Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Daughters of Ragnarok, uh, episode two. Uh, and if you remember, last time we left, when we left off, uh, we just created the Duchy of Gotland, uh, and we were playing as Queen Gaeta? Gaetha? I looked it up, and I still don't know how to pronounce it. I'll try, okay? I'll try my best, but I feel like that's as good as it's gonna get for me. And... For this episode, I want to try and get the rest of Smolland. Because uh, that is... Yeah. Smolland? 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 I don't know. I'm going to try my best, and if it's wrong, please let me know. Anyway, I think that's what we're going to try to do this episode. Uh, we're actually fairly close to that. Uh... I mean, we have the money for it, we just need to conquer this land, but uh, that's not going to be it for this episode. I feel like we're going to need to do some stuff over here, maybe, you know, try to spread uh, Norse into some new lands. I do want to uh, conquer all of the Norse holy sites, so we're definitely going to have to go into mainland Europe, you know, like Germany, Netherlands stuff. Uh, well, we are... 12 years old and we only need four more years before we can uh, uh, get married which is gonna be weird because we're gonna be marrying someone you know probably twice our age also succession law uh, we're gonna have to I want to try to reform uh, I want to try to reform my religion before I die, just because I want to uh, get an Attic Clans done. <sighs> Excuse me. Uh, yeah, I want to get an Attic Clans just so I can uh, get stuff done. Also, I like uh, this. Male characters are not allowed in the council, like at all, which is going to be real fun. We're trying to do this runestone thing. How do I do that? Build a great pillar. Uh, erect a sacred monument in your capital, serving as a gathering point for shamans and offspring to the gods, which will increase the moral authority of the Germanic faith. Oh. I need $300 to do that. Maybe we'll build one of these. You know, that we'll build one of these by the end of the episode, you know. Uh, let's look at any uh, these other stuff we can build. Ruler statues. Harbor. Harbor might be fun. Lighthouse. Palace, maybe even. Uh, we'll think about it. We'll think about it. Uh, it might be really interesting if we can get close to actually becoming the Queen of Sweden. Uh, where that's not going to happen in this episode, but definitely probably. Well, maybe we only need fifty-five percent, fifty-one percent of tw of uh, twenty-five. So we only need thirteen counties, and if we just like go in a huge, like basically a crusade type deal, yo, you know, just like go to go to town on these people, you know, we can uh we can probably get this done in this episode. Uh, it, it, it all depends. It all depends. Uh. I'm definitely going to be coming of age in this episode, and we're definitely going to be coming the queen. We're going to be a double duchess. Double duchess. I like that. I like that title. Double duchess. Um, and we're definitely going to do some more raiding, which we're probably going to do right now. So we're going to raise our troops and get up our people. Everyone go here, and we'll get our fleets to go to Oland. Unite them. Uh, oh, I became shrewd. Nice. I like shrewd. Look at that. That's so good. Uh, that's probably one of the best options we could have gotten. Uh, okay. I don't think we can appoint any more uh, commanders, right? Oh, no, we can do two. We can do two more. Uh, let's recruit 
two more. Ooh, we have a festival. What does that do for us? Uh, commer prosperity of our capital uh, increases slightly. That's fun. Uh, well, we're gonna get one of these guys. Oh, 21! Awesome. Uh, he is going to be here. What is his name? Alpha? Oh, so we have a Renki and Vladimir. Or Vladimir? Uh, Vladimir, I, I guess. And we're gonna hold a festival. Let's get it started. Alright, we're gonna go raiding, embark. And I think we're gonna go back over here to the British Isles, I think. Or maybe, can we attack Paris? Because we can go down the river. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, we're gonna definitely be raiding Paris. The Great the great Tribal Festival. The period of festivities is about to start. All sorts of peddlers, bards, and fortune tellers are gathering in Gotland. Bringing their tales of and offerings, this is surely going to be a great opportunity to meet new people and learn new games. This is going to be amazing! The Great Tribal Festival. The celebrations have finally begun. Gotland is, br is bustling with activity. People from every corner of Gotland have traveled here to pay their respects to me and my est and my ancestors. What ancestors? Uh, exchange tales and got uh, exchange tales and goods and have a good time. Welcome all. Disease resistance goes down, but we get what? Plus one hundred percent tax modifier. That's amazing. The priests are preparing a large feast to offer to our ancestors tonight. I have been spying at the servants bringing in the offerings in great in the great hall for some time. Some of my friends have dared me to see if I can sneak in and out under the priest's nose without being spotted. I'll show you. No, that would be wrong. Uh, let's do it. We're going to sneak into this main hall. With just a bit of care, I managed to sneak past the servants and get into the main hall. The weird statues of the ancestors are all assembled near the long table, decorated with trinkets and surrounded by food. You mess up the statue's placement. Intrigue or two, steal the food. Um, we're gonna go with the intrigue here. We're gonna mess with the statues. Now we have an eleven. Oh, and Raid Paris. Oh, the brawling tournament. After a few unint uh, unintended fights and several challenges thrown amongst guests, uh, it has been decided that the best way to appease the crowd is to organize tournament uh, of organize a tournament of our best warriors. Not only uh, there. Are are many of the tri in the tribe excited to test their mettle in a friendly competition. The shamans have also assured me that this will be a good way to obtain the favor of, of Tri. Let any brave fighter step forward. And we're raiding Paris at the same time. Who great. The crowd quickly assembles in the town square as the first contenders find their place in the fighting ring. The first brawl starts with encouraging encouraging cheers from everyone. Soon, a series of bruised warriors find its place in the loser's corner. May the best woman win? What is this? We're not uh, an attic clans yet. Oh, our, our commander. The fight's on the go on for the entire day. When the sun sets, only one man remains standing. Reinek. Reinek. Yeah, Reineki? I don't know. Reinek. The crowd acclaims him as the uncontested winner of the tournament, showering him with cheers. The man deserves a prize, gives him 25 gold, and uh, he gets uh, 40 opinion of me for 10 years, which sounds pretty good. Or he deserved it. Uh, I think we're going to give him the gift. We can, we have the money. And plus, we're raiding Paris right now. 
the offering. With the period of festivities nearing the nearing its end, it is finally time to burn our offering to the god to the old gods and pray that they will protect us in the years to come. A long moment of silence shrouds Gauntland, Gauntland as the smoke rises to the night sky or to the nightly nightly sky. Then the shamans lead us in a somber hymn concluding the ceremony. Glory to Thor. We get prosperity in the capital increases slightly, and Germanic moral authority goes up by 1% for two years. Glory to Thor. Uh, let's get one level of hill forts in everything. Oh, can't build one yet. We need to wait a little bit. Oh, we get uh, tech. Awesome. Uh, cities and temples? Of course. What does this give us? Toll booths, mustering grounds, so on. Oh, victory. We are going to get the hill fort. Alright, sieges are going well. They don't have as good as of uh, defenses as uh, Zelen did, or maybe it was just because it's a city. Oh, there's no, there's nothing here. Oh, we got a bunch of money, money there. What do our fleets look like? Uh, got seventy gold there. Thirteen. Katnami successors. Oh, uh, do we have a? Uh... Oh, wait, we can get one more commander. Might as well. 15, not as good as our other ones, but still, not bad. Uh, let's put him in charge of the largest army. We might not be able to actually... Or maybe we will. Yeah, we should be fine. I was about to say, we might not be able to siege all of the things, but... We should be fine. We have like, uh, 300 extra... We have three or more troops than we need. For these two. Because, uh, they have our... 484 and 454 so yeah we should be fine and that one's done two more and then we're good then we go home or maybe we'll stop off in Zeland on the way home they did recover no can't do that how about Kent we can we can go to Kent on the way home but not really there's no real there's no real reason to all right one more and then we're good we're going to attack this, and then we'll go home. I've been having these special feelings for a special someone lately. The strange urges to find myself embraced and, embraced and close to another person. If I could only find my, myself alone with the, far, the farrier's apprentice, the carpenter's daughter. No! I had better keep these thoughts for myself. Uh, the carpenter's daughter, of course. Like, is there any question about it? Okay. After weeks of waiting for the right opportunity to find myself behind the barn alone with the carpenter's daughter that my heart has been longing for, my palms are sweaty, my chest is pounding. Declare my eternal love for her. Kiss her on the cheek. Suggest a sec secluded cuddle inside the barn. Mm, we're definitely going lustful. We are a lusty homo, and that's Paris de destroyed. Uh, do we have enough forces? No, we don't. So we're going to go back onto the ship. There we go. There we go. Now we're back on the boat. Uh, where else are we going to go? I don't think we can really go anywhere else. We best go home, I think. Or no, we can go here. Oh no, our rival. Why is he our rival? That sucks. I don't want him to be my rival. You have three daughters. We have one incapable, one regular, and one sickly. My chancellorship is up for grabs. Totil. You're going to be my chancellor, and my steward is going to be none of you. 
And I'm going to invite a noble to court. Fior... Forolifar? I don't know. I'm really bad at this. Build zeal for me. Er... Uh, actually... Oversee construction. I think we're good with the uh, prestige part. Because, you know, we're going to be, uh... We're going to be raiding a lot, so whatever gold we bring back equals... Translates to prestige, so... Victory? And this one's going to be real easy. And then another one that we might not be able to finish. Does anyone have any cool treasures that we could take? Oh! D d speak of the devil! A strange chest made of an unknown ma unknown metal has re was recovered by our men while they looted the holding. They Try as they might, they haven't been able to force the chest open and its contents remain a mystery. It has now been... Uh, it is now in my care. One day, the chest will be opened, mark my word. You stow the chest safe, safely away for now. Adds strange chest to the treasury of Queen Gaitha, Gaeta of Gotland. And let's take a look at this strange chest. Um, oh, and now I'm of age. And I'm a skilled tactician. This is awesome. I'm going to be personally leading my troops. Uh, let's matrimonially marry. Matrimonially. Uh, search characters for adults. Yes. The 16 year olds. Oh, uh, gender men. He will join my court. LA. Oh, and by the way, uh, okay. So, what is our goal? Become the Queen of Sweden. That's gonna be our goal. And I also want to take war as my focus. I'm unmarried, but Ale is here now. And we're going to arrange marriage between you and me, matrimonially, send, and we're gonna take the prestige, and boom. Ale is now King Ale. Well, Petty King Ale. More like Duke. And hopefully we're going to have babies now. Because we need some daughters. Alright, go home. Oh wait, did we not loot everything? Oh no, we didn't loot everything from them. Alright, we'll get this last little bit. And then we'll go home. And... Done. Okay, back on the boat we go, and home, go home, going to, and there we go, a fleet has returned with like 270 gold, and just amazing stuff, uh, we're gonna do more building of things and things. And there we are. And we're going to disband everything. And now do we go to war with more, 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 or used, tused? How I tused? Oh, she's also a skilled tactician. And there I am. I am a sub-leader in this. Sub-commander. Come on. Yes! We got it. Uh, a noble has... Oh, he's defected to my side. 
Oh, I'll make him my marshal, because he's better than this guy. Okay, he... Yeah. You are now my marshal. Have fun. Have fun in your new government job. One quick siege. We can probably do this. No. Yes. Yes. No, we're not going to do that. Uh, oh god, I forgot that, uh, I forgot that, uh, since I'm a duchess, I get vassals. I don't gain this directly anymore. And we're going to become the Duchess of Smoland. Smoland? I, I'm not, I'm going to stop trying. Uh, and offer vassalization? Nope. Uh, even though we are much, much stronger than you. Uh, with small difference in rank, that's really the one that's getting us. And we're going to go to go to war again. And crush them again. So for you, you stay there. There we go. Now go in there and crush them. One more. We can form an alliance with who? Or we already have an alliance? Ah, with our vassal. Oh god. Nope. No, he needs to not be living anymore. They cannot... They can't. They cannot be alive together. They cannot have any children. I cannot allow this. They're going to destabilize my whole realm. This is going to be awful. Oh, wow. She really hates me. A lot. Yeah, uh, the Jarl. Um, yeah, you're not going to be the Jarl anytime soon. The Kingdom of Sweden will be ours. Hopefully by the end of this episode. I think that's going to be the mark of the end of the episode. Is when we create the Kingdom of Sweden. Uh, hold a great plot. Yeah. I can hardly wait. Summon a blot. The guests have arrived. And the time has come for the blot to begin. You gather outside the temple. Uh, and start by offering animals a, a sacrifice to the gods while their meat is prepared for the feast that is to follow. The... wait. Is to follow. The blood is sprinkled on statues of Odin, Thor, and Frere. Or, or Freyr? Freyr? Freya? I think it's Freya. And the other gods. Uh, as well as on the worshippers themselves. Now for the human sacrifice. As you have no prisoners, uh, uh in your, uh, no prisoners in your dungeon that are suitable for the sacrifice of the blot, uh, you are forced to make do with some randomly purchased thralls. They are brought to the big uh, oak, to the big oak outside the temple. And soon their limp and lifeless bodies are hanging from the thick branches. We lose 50 gold, but we get 50 piety and 50 prestige. And that's what I'm talking about. With the sacrifice over, the feast at the end of the blot can now begin. The meat of the animals and that were sacrificed has already been prepared, and there's there is plenty of mead to go around. Let the celebrations begin. Class of opinion increased by 15 for a year. You inside the large feast hall. How much money are we making? Almost a whole ducat a year. Or a month, rather. Oh. The feast is over, and with and with it the blot. It will be a feast. It will be at least nine years until you can hold the next one. But as your vassals return home, most seem to agree that the ceremony was well worth the trip. Until next time. Oh, I didn't see. I clicked it too fast. Seward, I'm not even going to pronounce his name, has had some interesting ideas on how to improve the economy. Uh, accept these ideas. 
War is not worth it. I'm going to do accept these ideas. I'm pleased to hear that after a period of peace and shrewd management, the county of Gotland has is doing very well. People are happy, and the tax collectors are reporting record intakes. Gotland prospers. Alright, uh, oh, designated regent. The person who likes me the best is my commander. Sounds good. Oh, I can... Oh... Ooh, okay, so we have the Wolf Warriors, which would be probably... Oh, our commander is actually the uh, the hero of the lodge. I think that's ex I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to join this lodge, but we could be the Fellowship of Hell. That could be fun, but I don't think we're going to do that. We're going to be the Wolf Warriors. Renek of the Wolf Warriors greets me uh, with a brief nod. Another recruit, huh? To join our ranks. Join our ranks, you need to prove yourself, girl. The man shy says uh, gruffly, You're my commander. We know each other. I fought alongside you. You should know how good I am. Uh, folding his arms across his chest. You would be fighting one of our own. Still interested, my lady? I'm gladly fight to prove myself. Uh, and that's for that. Ooh. Him. Starbjorn. Renek the Grinner uh, and the Wolf Warriors have chosen Starbjorn as your as my opponent. The middle-aged man eyes me up and down when we are introduced. Fresh meat, eh? He offers he he offers mockingly before shoving an elbow into my side, making everyone laugh. A demonstration duel, huh? I lose the duel. Starbjorn charges at me and has soon mangled, managed to break several of my bones and my leg, bones in my leg. The crowd does not seem impressed by my effort. Oh no! Ah, by Odin, that hurt, man. All right, so I become wounded, but my duel experience goes up. To honorable, to the honorable Queen Geda of Gotland, during your initiation, your display of bravery and good attitude impressed us all. We would gladly invite you into our ranks. Signed, Rayanik. Finally, I am now a member of the Wolf Warriors. That's awesome. All right, uh, so I can duel. I'm gonna point my oh, praise the thunder. Hey, do you mind if we duel? Uh, have not recently been in a duel. Oh, he has a pet owl? Why does this guy have to be my, be my, my arrival? He's so cool. He has a pet owl. Hey, do you mind if we have a kid? Uh, King Ale. Oh, and I got some warriors. Just for fun. For free. We're going to force their vassalization. We have 1,700 troops. And great. And, like, fantastic, uh... People. On our side. Commanders, I mean. Oh. Oh, that was close. Alright. And... I'm going to lead one of these armies myself. This one. And sub-commanders. You, and you, alright, there we go, attack. Not only do we have 700 troops above them, alright, we're gonna end the video, end this episode when we become the Queen of Sweden, I feel like that's a, oh, we got scarred, the old wound has finally healed, leaving a pretty grotesque scar behind, you, we are scarred now. Which is awesome. Being scarred is a good trait to have. Alright, I'm gonna keep going. Can we try to open this? No, we can't. Mm. Let's crush them again. 
in battle. Now we have a thousand troops above them. And better morale. And utterly destroyed. Walk in the park. Easy. And we can create another title. Wow. I've invited people in my court to take part in a war game in which we practice defending our land from invading enemies. We will use wooden models to represent invading armies, and I shall have to use clever tactics to defeat my opponents. Uh, this should- this will be fun. So we're playing a war game. As we assign tasks to the war game, we decide that Totio will defend me- defend with me, uh, while Toke will be leading the invading forces. One well, the best warlords win! At the beginning of the war- war game, your enemy decides to do a strong frontal attack towards your center flank. Uh, use all means to reinforce and strengthen the center, slowly withdraw the forces in the center. Uh, let's just slowly withdraw the forces in the center. So that, uh, you know, we save our, 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 our resources for the, for the other stuff. But maybe if we, like, put, go all in. I don't know, we're gonna go all in. The war game gets intense as you use your forces to, forces to reinforce the center. While Toke's troops begin to pressure your flanks, and they're failing fast. Totil suggests that we should uh, respond with pressure in the center flank. Try to push through the center. As we launch our attack, we manage to break the enemy's center, giving us the opportunity to subdue their split forces with ease. We stand uncontested as victors of the war game. Good game, sir. Alright, time for another war. How close are we? We need six more. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe we'll go to Upland. No. We're gonna just go on a huge rampage. Declaring war after war after war. Oh, we can imprison someone? Oh, uh, they want that. Um, oh no. Okay, well, guess we're gonna have to deal with that. Battle of Vista, take the blade and send you back to Odin with it. Adds a knife to treachery. Each swing of my bare hands has sent me deeper into enemy territory. Before I knew it, I was surrounded. With a burst of energy, I roar loudly, causing a few of them to hesitate and one unfortunate soldier to stagger backwards, tripping over a rock. I can't help but notice that she dropped her weapon in the snow. I now have a knife in my inventory. Knife of the Plains. Uh, leading center of uh, monthly prestige and personal combat skill. Oh, great. I just have a knife now, and we're going to go and attack these people, so I should go to the center. There we go. We won that war. Hey, can we change laws? No, we can't. We can, a uh, tribal organization can go up though, which we're definitely going to do. And tribal organization, everyone's going to say no. We're going to say yes to council support though. I think we want Honest. You deserve a good name, my Marshal. Uh -huh, how about the Dove? Just Toke the Dove. Uh, and we're going to remove our Seer for someone else. You know what, never mind. <laughs> we're just going to keep him, and we'll do that later. I'm getting stressed now. As female Vikings, everything already seems to be like uh, female f women focused, you know. Like uh, she dropped her knife or whatever in the last event, instead of he, you know. Uh, we got a little bit of our our little kingdom carved out for us. You know, we can form our own kingdom, I think. 
No, we need three duchies for that. Well, anyway. Uh... How about some of these other people? We need how many? Six? Uh, one, two, th one, two, three. All right, we need to disband. Oh wait, we did disband. Why can't I declare war? Ah, I'm bankrupt. Oh. Well then. Guess we will need to wait one month. Prosperity of our county has gone up by one. Or a little bit. A little bit. Not by one, by a, a little bit. Oh, we're not bankrupt anymore. We can declare another war. Time for another war. We may be bankrupt again, but... Oh. We become proud. Or we become humble. I think we want to become humble. And I'm a, brill I'm a brilliant strategist now. We will make him a suitable sacrifice to Odin. This man here. He is now dead. An honorable sacrifice to God, to the God Odin. And there he goes. And there we go. Can I? I wasn't recently in a duel, was I? No. So I can go to relations, then go to. Oh, I'm pregnant? Wait, what? I'm not pregnant. Am I? Am I pregnant? Oh, uh, throw her in the oublette, would you? Oh, now I'm pregnant. It predicted the future. My throwing arm will amaze everyone. It will. Oh, uh, yeah, he got maimed and severely injured. But he doesn't get mad at me at all? Aww. Ale has really gone out of his way to ensure that both our child and I receive the favor of the gods. He has personally organized this year's fest harvest festival and elected me to portray Freya. Her, Freya herself during the celebration, hoping it will hoping it will help me deliver a strong, healthy child. I'm truly flattered. Thank you, Ale. Congratulations. One managed to throw Oh, he won, I guess. Oh become Gregorius. Hard training pays off. I am now a warrior. I have no heir, but I'm about to have a child, so... In a few months. Uh, yes, I will definitely loot this province. Uh, let's just get... We're gonna wait until, um... We got our troops up before we start to do anything like that. Uh, we're gonna go to war again. I should follow tradition and rest. Oh no, we need a new marshal. We could get him. I don't want someone who's also my commander to be my marshal. We'll have to wait until the war is over. Oh no, what? Why did I do that? No! No, why did I do that? No! That was awful. Alright, I guess we'll have to make do with half the troops now. 
You will be acting Marshall for now, I guess. Jesus. Uh, oh, I'm going to labor. Uh, wait, okay, which... Siege equipment. Siege equipment, definitely. Siege faster equals looting faster. And, aww. Eagle. Mats. Ivar. Alright, I guess Ivar is our... I guess he's our person. I'm... Uh, if we could have a daughter, that would be much better. Uh, I think this has been going on for long enough. Uh, I actually forgot to set up a timer, so I have no idea how long this has been going. Uh, and I think I'm going to call it here. This is episode 2. I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, if I know I did. Uh, and, yeah, uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all in episode 3, where we become the Queen of Sweden. Uh, bye.